Hi, Paul. Hello. Could you give me a brief description of the car, the history and uh, when it came into your possession? Yeah, well, the, I bought the car in uh, 2003. It had been set, uh, kept in a paint shop from 1988, all in bits, uh, ready for res restoration. Uh, I found the car and uh, went and had a look, seeing that it was all metal instead of filler like most uh, of these cars are. Um, managed to uh, buy it after a few months of uh, negotiation. Uh, the uh, lady who were buying it off didn't say that they'd lost the paint shop and they actually put it outside uh, with burr metal so the, uh, the uh, surface rust started. So when I, originally, when I actually went and picked it up I managed to get it back to my place. Um, first thing I had to do is sand it and get some uh, yeah. primer on it yeah. just to start it off. Yeah. Uh, then it was a case of uh, finding out what parts I needed because it was all in millions of pieces. Yeah. And uh, start, start afresh and do the welding where it needs welding and paint where it needed painting. So how much time do you think you spent on it? How long? Uh, well, it, it took me uh, just over four years. Uh, mainly all weekends, but uh, it was just a a job of a, a, a job of love yeah. because it was my dream car and uh, yeah. it was the only way of getting one in bit. And so, which was probably the hardest job you did had to do for it? Uh, finding out what parts was for the car because uh, because it had been sat in a paint shop. There was uh, bits of all different kind of cars all inside of the car. So it was just, it was like a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, wiring was an issue because there was all like uh, bullet connectors. So right. it was finding know, yeah. which ones was the problems. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, just uh, generally getting the bodywork looking like it does now. So how, how often do you use it? Do you use it every day or do you just no, at week? I, I, I use it. I use, use it for shows, but I do use it uh, weekends when weather's nice because of the fuel consumption. You can't use yeah. more. I was just going to say that. What, what, what is the fuel consumption? Uh, on a long run, you're talking in between 15 and tw you might be able to scrape 20, but uh, knocking around town, it's single figures. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> But uh, it must be a pleasure to drive. Yeah, it's uh, beautiful to drive. Uh, not many people know what they are. You get these young lads who think uh, they can take it on, but they uh, got more uh, power in the uh, boom boxes, as I call them, than in the <laughs> engines. Yeah, it's a lovely car, yeah. So you don't fancy getting the other model, the CV8, was it? The CV8, the older model, no. It's, this has been the dream car yeah, for me yeah, for, yeah. since I was uh, about six. So, yeah, it's been brilliant. So what about getting things like tyres? Oh, tyres is no problem. You can just pick them up anywhere. Uh, parts, there's uh, a lot of uh, companies what still do the parts for it. Uh, like the engine, for instance, is American, so you just go to a, any American... Play, uh, parts place and you can get the parts for it they'll work out cheaper than getting it from a gentle uh, parts place well, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fine specimen <laughs> you've done a good job thank you must be, must be proud of it oh uh, yeah very much so and thanks very much for the interview thank no you problem thank you, thank you.